Cureleaf. Marijuana retail employees in Phoenix returned to work after a one-day strike. This is hysterical to me. Workers at Cureleaf Holdings Marijuana Store in Central Phoenix went out on a day-long strike Friday to protest a wrongful termination and operational policies, organizers told MJ Biz Daily. In conjunction with the strike, the UFCW, the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, Local 99, held a rally and news conference outside the store urging New York based marijuana multi-state operator to reinstate a fired worker and advance union contract negotiations. Employees at Cure Leaf Midtown voted in June of 2022 to unionize, but have yet to finalize a contract according to a news release and the National Re- uh, Labor Relations Board, an independent federal agency that protects the rights of private sector employees to collectively bargain, has issued a complaint alleging that Cure Leaf Midtown terminated a worker for her union activity and charged and changed policies without negotiating with the union. In a quote, while we believe that a direct relationship with our team members is the best route for us to work together, we respect the voices of our team members and will negotiate with union leaders in good faith, Kira Leaf said in a statement. And we know our team members, our business, and our patients and customers depend on a positive work environment, and we are committed to a collaborative culture that allows our team to feel heard, supported, and respected. Now, that is a quote from Cure Leaf. Okay, you guys. That's, that's <laughs> exactly, Todd. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Workers who went on strike on Friday returned to their jobs the following day, according to UFCW Local 99. It was at least the second cannabis work stoppage of 2023 following a 13-day strike by Green Thumb Industries workers in the Chicago area in May. Cure Leaf workers have been unionizing nationwide in the past few years in June. And for example, every retail employee at Cure Leaf stores in New Jersey voted to join UFCW Local 360. Cure Leaf workers have also joined unions in Illinois and Massachusetts, and UFCW Local 99 is Arizona's largest private sector union representing 25,000 workers throughout the Southwest. And UFCW International counts more than 1.3 million members nationwide. But I'll tell you what, man, this pullout game was fast. These guys went on strike for one day, and I'm willing to get the bet that they didn't get anything done because this article doesn't even rec- recognize the fact that they got anything that they were really asking for. What do you guys say? This is Jason Beck for the high at nine news hour. This is just just crazy to me. Go on strike for yeah. one day. I, I, I think there was Russian interference. I don't know. Like <laughs> <interference>. There was <laughs> Russian interference. Uh, there was a little hey, Russian spy keys. balloon. Do you have any actual knowledge of what they were asking for? Uh, yeah, my story yesterday said that they were they were asking for this employee to be rehired for starters. Mm-hmm. And um, if I remember correctly, they were also asking um, something about about hours, if I remember correctly. But, but the main thing was this fired employee. They felt that she was terminated unjustly because of her activism around trying to get everyone to unionize. Mm. Good way to stop unions from organizing is get rid of the organizer. I mean, you know, it's, that is That's true. A typical tactic. I mean, it works. It yeah, works. Sure I mean, she, she, she's gone. And, and if you th- if you think about it, it really did work because they went on strike one day and they're already back the next day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if these people had any backbone. If the UFCW is really involved, I don't expect them to just roll over. So I think we may hear more coming out of this. Jason, you Beck, think this is going to be a so continuing happy ongoing and saga? Lodi, Lodi, as you love to be. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, I think it's ongoing. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I think it's going to be. I, I do think there's going to be some type of follow up story, but uh, I just I find it very funny that they went on strike for one day and then all of a sudden they're back to work. I, that that just seems like that was pointless to strike in the first place. They should have just stayed working. Did the girl yeah. get reinstated? The article does not mention that, Todd, at all. There is, and I was looking for another article that mentioned that, and I don't not seeing anything anywhere in regards to that. Right. Well, that seems like the only reason they would stop, right? Uh, stop their strike. I mean, unless they realize that they didn't have any real argument, and uh, that she was actually fired justly, and they're like, "Oh man, we got to pack up our stuff and go back to work." And with our tail between <laughs> right. our legs. Mm-hmm. What was the original reason that Carolee gave for her firing? 
Um, probably she was a disgruntled employee. No, probably. I would like some facts, Jason. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't know exactly really why she was fact. I don't. I don't. I don't have that. On. I don't have that. I don't have that information for you, Gretchen. Say I don't know. Don't say. I just said. I, I just said bullshit. I don't have that information for you. But I am allowed to speculate. Fake news. I am totally okay. allowed to speculate. Okay. Because that works so well in this country is speculating on the news. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Speculation. Well, I'm going to try to get some details on it. Oh, we got Zaza. What's good, Zaza? You got some details on this? No, I'm going to get some details on it and get back to y'all tomorrow. I was hoping I would have got back from New York early enough to go and stand on the picket line with a sign with them. Mm -hmm. But I, I wasn't. I didn't get back till last night and now they're back at work. But I'll, I'm definitely going to be out today going to do some digging to find out exactly what's going on. And, and hopefully I have some updates for y'all guys tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to find out what only these people are going to go strike for just eight hours. You know what I mean? They couldn't even do a full 24 hours because, you know, they only strike for one day. Their eight hour shift done. Maybe their signs and posters are delayed at the printer. <laughs> because they used it. <laughs> they used a union printer that was on strike, too, huh, Todd? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 